friends, MD Vegan. I make a pineapple salad today, very simple. Pineapple is a solitary fruit, I would say. I love pineapples. Once in a while, I can't resist. <laughs> I'm not growing here in Berlin, but well, we have some delicious sometimes. And uh, this one was ripe, it had to be used. I sat here for some time, so today I was time I peeled it and uh, I re remove the center. There is a, the center of the heart of the pineapple is very hard sometimes. It tastes a little bit bitter sometimes. I cut it out and then I have these uh, small little triangles uh, shaped like yeah, um, pieces. I love pineapple. They are wonderful. It's not easy always to combine them. Yeah, um, I think about a little bit how to combine pineapple so it's delicious. They are solitary, they said. They have a bromelain, that is a substance, a compound, that helps to digest an enzyme, a protein. That's rare. Kiwis have another one um, that is also, this is a little bit aggressive, you know, the protein um, digestion is a tough thing to do and pineapples, they can help. But I guess that's a price they pay, so to say, to be more solitary. <laughs> Can't be combined um, with everything. I mean, you could combine everything you want, but um, sometimes it pushes one each other away. But it's very nice with um, with raspberries. I get, I think. Here I have a a nice amount of raspberries. They have been frozen, and these metal containers are nice to put them on a water bath. Hot water under here, a lid on top. In a half an hour or 40 minutes, it's it's um, frozen as thawed, and then uh, the juice comes out of the raspberries. And the frozen fruit, very inexpensive as compared to the fresh ones, and uh, you can get them all over the year. That's nice, and they have a high nutrient content. Of course, they are not like fresh, but I mean pretty close. And yeah, I always have fresh uh, frozen berries in the in the freezer. I always like them. They're different, and I. Use them in for different recipes also, yeah? It's not just they say, oh, fresh are better. No, sometimes frozen is better. This juice comes out of them quickly and it's nice to have it combined with a dressing. Today I make a yogurt cream dressing for the pineapple fruits, very simple. And cashew, cashew yogurt here is something I showed you in another video how to make. It, it is easy, you blend cashews with water, one-to-one, -one, and a little bit of bacteria, culture, acidophila, it's called. You blend it together and then you let it sit for a night or so in a container like this, warm, in a warm place, and then you have your yogurt. And you can use it again and again, make new yogurt with it or so with the first batch. And the longer, you, the longer it, t it sits here, the riper it gets, it gets a more mature and a, a very um, tart flavor can be very nice. Um, actually, yeah, I show you what it looks like. It has set for a while now. Here, this is what my yogurt looks like now. It's uh, like a Greek yogurt a little bit. But of course, all the nuts and all the seeds when you make yogurt with it, they have different flavors <laughs> and uh, different characters, textures. Uh, very interesting and I'll try now to combine my cashew yogurt with a pineapple. See if that works. Uh, let's see. Uh, so I put some of the cashew yogurt into my bowl. I might use the rest of the cashew yogurt here to make a new batch. I just blend cashews and water and put that in here. And there are bacteria already here. And that could be tomorrow another yogurt ready. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to watch it, how to make it in the video. There's another video linked under this one. I show you how to do it. So this is my cashew yogurt now in the bowl. That's going to be the dressing here. I think a whole pineapple like here is like a whole meal to me. These fruit, they have such a strong character. Yeah, uh, pineapples are big. Yeah, more than an apple. 100 grams have 50 calories or so. Uh, it's not very much. They have a little amount of fat and protein, not very much. But high in sugar, of course. Fruit usually is healthy sugar together with the fruit. And I will put some... That means it's, it's high nutritious. You know? It's very nice that you can have a lot of energy from it. Yeah. 
and fiber is in a pineapple, a lot of fiber that makes it keep in tune. So it's a wonderful fruit. Here, date mousse, fresh made. It's a whole um, glass and it goes in the fridge. I put some into the yogurt. I like that a lot. Yeah, just it can be a nice amount. Yeah, I will taste it in a moment, of course. Date mousse goes in the fridge and can sit there for a week, two or so. And I can um, just blend the dates with water. That's it. Yeah. And you can use it without using the blender again. So, so, so say a, a work ahead of time, it saves me the blender now. <laughs> yeah. And I can just put the date mousse into the yogurt. Otherwise I have to use a blender for the dates. And the dates are my favorite sweetener. Uh, just wonderful uh, because I mean, it's very sweet. Dates have a high amount of sugar. It's a sweet and very perfect. But they're also super healthy. You can't compare that to regular uh, refined sugar. It's no comparison at all. Sugar is almost poison. White sugar, you know, that's really aggressive. Not so good to eat. So it can be delicious. <laughs> but it's very hard, very tough on the body. But dates are the opposite. They are healing. They give you uh, amazing health benefits, even if they have so much sugar. It's amazing. Oh, it's because of the fiber and the phytonutrients in plants. It's scientifically proved. It's an amazing sweetener. A kind of snack dates. Wonderful. So that's a date mousse here. And now here you see it's a little bit brown now. The color has changed yeah, with the date mousse. The yogurt. Now I will put some lemon juice in there. Half a lemon here, it's a large lemon. It's half a lemon, juiced. And it can be easily too much when you put it into yogurt. Yogurt is sour by itself, fermented, that makes it sour. And, and um, so when you put a lemon into it, easily it can become too sour. That's also why the date mousse is so nice, because it balances the lemon flavor. But it's a nice flavor together with pineapple. Lemon, yeah, and of course, also with dates and yogurt. This lemon is wonderful. I love lemon. I always have a lot of lemons at home. Make sure I always have them at home. Can use them for many things. Yeah. Also, antioxidants, strong antioxidant keeps keeps foods fresh. It keeps bananas from turning brown and these kind of things. Apples too. It's, it's, lemons are so useful. So let's see. I'll taste it now if I have enough lemon juice, or more, or whatever. Mm. Wow, yeah. There is a lemon flavor. It's exactly what I want. So I used only a quarter of the, the large lemon. Maybe you have a small lemon. You can use it whole. whole. You have a really small lemon. Um, this was a pretty big, a large lemon. And a quarter of that is enough. That's perfect. Now, that's all I do. I put the, the pineapple into the into this uh, beautiful yogurt dressing with the dates and the lemon, and of course the beautiful raspberries. What a beautiful fruit! And then you have this beautiful color combination, red and yellow. I will just toss a little bit. Everything is covered by the yogurt. I can already see. It's also a light meal. It's absolutely not heavy, but you have everything in it yeah, for a fruit meal. The yogurt is nuts. That is fat. Yeah, with a little bit of protein, not too much. Then you have these berries, the healthiest fruit we have are berries. And this wonderful, unique pineapple in an appropriate surrounding, I guess. I'll just fold it into my, my little breakfast glass my balloon glass, so you can see everything from the outside. Makes a little transparency. I like that in my food. I like to know what's in my food. <laughs> and I like to see it, to watch it. I'm a big fan of <laughs> looking <laughs> at things, watching things. It's a nice color. Maybe I put some a whole raspberries on top as a decoration. I don't know. I'll, I'll see what I come up with. For now, I just want to show you this beautiful glass with this pineapple, the raspberries, and 
the cashew yogurt recipe. Isn't that beautiful? Mmm. <laughs> Pink. Beautiful. I'm looking forward to it. I hope it's nice. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you like, like, subscribe, and be on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter.